now we will see the next command which is intersection curve command so as we know that we will get one curve with the intersection of two surfaces or two planes or one plane and one surface so here i have created two surfaces intersecting with each other and i will apply intersection curve command here so after applying the command i will get one curve where these surfaces are intersecting so here is set 1 and set 2 so you have to simply select the faces or surface like this and you will get one curve like this so you can use this curve to trim the sheet or you can extend this curve so as per your requirement you can use this curve now we will see the next command which is isoparametric curve so we know that the surface is made of many different curves horizontal and vertical so isoparametric curve will only extract those curves so in isoparametric curves you can select the direction horizontal or vertical or both and in location we use uniform maximum times and here you can select the numbers that you want and then select the face so as you can see it has created 20 horizontal and vertical curves now if you select U then you will get like this so in this way you can use this isoparametric curve as per your requirement so you can use these curves for further operations like you want to trim the sheet you can use these curves to trim the sheet so these curves can also be used to check the surface quality of the surface now we will see the next command which is smooth curve string and smooth spline so here you need separate curves and here you need spline so here you can smooth different curves that are joined together and smooth spline can be applied where there are many deviations on the spline so as you can see it has made up of many curves and now i will extrude this curve So as you can see there are many sharp edges on the surface which we don't want. So to remove these edges I will smooth these curls. So here we will apply smooth curve string. So here you can give the continuity and you can give the radius on the corners as per the requirement and then apply and now let's extrude it again so as you can see all the sharp edges we have removed with the help of smooth curve string now let's see smooth spline so after applying it will show problematic areas like this and there you can apply smoothing factor so after applying the spline will get smoother
now let's see the helix command so if you want to create a helix or spring like shape then you can use this command so after selecting the command you will get directly one spring like shape like this so here you can change the vector orientation you can define the size you can define the pitch value as per your requirement so here you can define the angle you can define the diameter or radius of the helix you can define the pitch value here so right now it is in along z direction so first we have to create one axis system another axis system to define the new position or new vector so first you have to determine the position of the helix then create the helix so here you, you can give the limit of the length in settings you can select the turn direction like right hand or left hand so let's create one another helix before that I will so let's create one axis system first So as you can see I have created one axis system like this and in that z direction of the new axis system I will create one helix. So here you have to select that new axis system. So as you can see the helix has created in the z direction of the new axis system. So like this you can create helix. Now you can use the tube command on this helix. Like this. So let's change the diameter. So in this way we can create spring 